Oh, and Atterberg's people, it's difficult to categorize Merrill McHenry of McPherson. Now, he's lived in many different countries. He's a biologist, artist, and teacher with 41 years of college teaching. He's taught over 6,000 students. He now teaches homeschoolers in his office, workshop, and museum. But it's one of his art projects that got my attention, along with his view on life. When Merrill McHenry leaves his home for the few steps it takes him to get to work, he's entering his office and art gallery. I'll give it whatever time it needs to do it right. In here, you'll sometimes find him working on an unlikely art project, a gore. I uh, get a lot of questions about, about that because they've never heard of uh, using a gourd in, in quite this fashion. Now a gourd is defined as the hard-shelled fruit of various plants whose dried shell is used for bowls and other utensils. Well, Merrill also uses it as art. The head is the end of one gourd, two pieces of gourd for the ear tufts. This soft-spoken former college professor who holds a doctorate in ornithology has traveled the world and lived in many foreign countries in his study of biology, ornithology, and of course, art. Now remember, this artwork is from the lowly gourd. Even from Kansas's lowly buffalo gourd, McHenry makes art. These are Kansas gourds. This is a Kansas buffalo, but this is also Kansas buffalo gourd. And so it kind of puts together gardening and nature and uh, creativity, and uh, it's enjoyable. Many of the larger gourds he grows in his garden or gets elsewhere, when dried, they last for years, then turn into exceptional pieces of art. The more you look outside of yourself, <laughs> and become interested in, uh, in other people and things around you, um, the more exciting it becomes. His work is cataloged and unique, but this man of nature, art, and science is also a man of God. You know, I have a, a strong belief in uh, the fact that God is the creator of all things, not only the birds and flowers and us and the world, but cultures as well. People are special gifts to us. And the more we can learn from each other, and the more I can learn from nature, and the more I can uh, figure out how it's put together and tick, the more satisfying it becomes. The Lord's been good. <laughs> Fascinating man, and I'll never look at a gourd exactly the same way. Thanks, Meryl.